Hello folks, it would be that time again, another, another how-to, and this one is for another fruit bowl. Uh, this is kind of one that surprised me, but this is the pineapple bowl. Yeah, pineapple. Um, this is one of the most requested videos that we've had as of late. Uh, and, you know, I, I am not a huge fan of fruit bowls. I find them to be relatively wasteful, but this one kind of piqued my interest because I had never made a pineapple bowl before. And I got to admit, I was kind of curious as to how I was going to do this. But... That's step one. I think that should have been pretty obvious. Um... I suggest using a very sharp knife. Sharp tools are safer than dull tools, I promise. You notice that that cut very cleanly. That's really what you want. You want to go straight through because if you're jamming your knife around and trying to um, uh, to get through such a thick piece of fruit, there's a better chance of a knife contacting your fingers. And that's not good. That's kind of where you really don't want the knife. Um, you should try and make a really straight cut. I didn't make the straightest cut here, but it's not going to make the biggest biggest difference. I'm going to straighten this out just a little bit. And have a snack. Mmm. Wow. Oh, a really good pineapple. Okay, now that we have our chunk of pineapple here, um, the main things that you're looking for are just enough depth to actually make a bowl. Uh, one of the biggest issues that I see people having is that they make this gigantic, super deep bowl expecting it to smoke for seven or eight hours. Uh, and that's just a, a waste of tobacco because if you make it super, super deep, you're not ever going to cook the tobacco all the way at the bottom. So I make this relatively shallow, but it does have to be deep enough to actually act as a bowl. Um, now, this is, I guess, the, the one of the more difficult parts. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out the bottom down here to make way for the uh, stem, the very top of the stem of the hookah, much like the way that I made a uh, an apple bowl in the previous fruit head video. So let's get to that. I shouldn't have to say this. This is, this is a sharp knife. This is a very, very sharp knife. Be very careful. There we go. Okay, and now the last step in actually making this bowl is digging the trough. Uh, I am going to be using a spoon uh, if you're really feeling sassy, I guess you could do this with a knife, and if you're feeling very mountain man, I guess you could do this with your teeth, though that's just a little silly. Um, I suggest eating this as you go, though I'm not going to be a slob on video because this is going to get messy. Uh, I, I like to kind of kind of do this. If you try and just drag through, you're going to end up screwing, uh, getting screwed up by the, um, the fibers of the pineapple. So what you should do is kind of cut in from one side, cut in from the other side, pop that out. And then just do that all the way around the bowl. And that's pretty much it. Um, as with the rest of this project, go slowly. Remember that the more flesh you take away, the more flimsy this is going to get. Uh, this will still hold up very nicely, and it's going to hold a huge amount of tobacco, um, but you don't want to dig through and accidentally destroy all your work. Uh, now I'm going to pack this up and foil it up and put a huge amount of charcoal on top of it. Um, yeah, and then we'll come back. Um, I realize I didn't mention something that I should have. Uh, this center piece right here, you really want to make sure that this stays below the edge of the lip um, of the actual bowl. So I would take 
just the very top off of this, and again, enjoy eating the scraps, um, to ensure that you get really good airflow. Otherwise, if that sits against the top of the foil, it's not going to actually uh, allow for any smoke or air to pass through. Uh, and this way, you get good airflow all around, and you're not relying on these kind of little, these little, I don't know, passageways. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Now I'm going to pack up this bowl uh, with some Fantasia Pink Lemonade and Wild Mango. This is going to be a fruity, fruity session, uh, and I will speed through that for you. All right, that is packed up just a little bit right there. There you go. Okay, that's enough. Um, there you go. I mean, that that is the bowl packed up. I am now going to put this onto my hookah and uh, foil it up. Because of the flimsy nature of this bowl, it would be really hard to foil it and then make sure that it was sitting properly on the top of the hookah. Uh, because of the large hole in the center, I am going to add a, uh, a thick grommet to make sure that it gets a pretty solid seal. Um, and then it's really, it's the same process, it's just, you know, poking holes. I'm going to use my oyster fork because it's about the same size as the width of this trough, and I'm going to poke holes all around. And man, this thing is probably going to take... I don't know, five or six coconaras, uh, but I'll come back with the shot of this foiled up and with some footage of it actually smoking. Ah. And this is why I really don't like fruit bowls. Yeah. Um, you can't really see it right now because there is a ton of foil on top of it acting as a wind cover to try and concentrate all of that heat from five, uh, oh, uh, from five Starbuzz, Cocoa Buzz coals, the huge ones, five of them on this thing. Still not enough heat to get good clouds. Um, part of the reason for that is because uh, pineapple is so juicy that it's constantly putting out the uh, the bottom of the coals and making it so I have to flip them all the time to get even the, the, the slightest bit of smoke. And uh, I mean this is pretty weak right now. I had it going uh, a little better than this. Um, I might flip the coals a little bit and see what I can do. Um, but that's it. I mean, that that is the pineapple bowl. It takes a huge amount of heat. It really doesn't add that much flavor. Like, there's the slightest, slightest bit of uh, fruity, maybe pineapple flavor, though it's kind of hard to say through um, the more dominant flavors of mango and lemonade, um, which are coming through nicely. Um, but yeah, frankly, I would save the tobacco, I would eat the pineapple, and I would use a normal bowl. Um, it's going to treat you a lot better. Um, so really, that's about it. This is Paul for Hookah.org showing you how to make a pineapple bowl if you really do want to, um, even though I don't suggest it. And I'm going to try and adjust this to get you some better clouds right at the end. But other than that, thank you very much for joining us, and happy smoking. Mm -hmm.